G'day guys, today's video is on calculus and specifically it's going to be a quick video which is going to serve as a bit of a refresher for those of you who need to use the chain rule to differentiate slightly more complicated functions like the one we've got in this exam example. And for those of you who don't like taking notes, what I've done is I've put together a fully worked solution which will be available at a link in the description below as a PDF document. So the chain rule, guys, is used when we're trying to differentiate functions which in themselves contain other functions. So for example, in this question here, we've got a cubic function, 2x cubed plus 1, which is contained within a fifth power function, i.e. something to the power of 5. So you've got a function contained within a function, so that should be the flag that we're going to be using the chain rule here. So the way we're going to use the chain rule to differentiate functions like this is when we have a function contained within another function, what we do is we substitute the inside function for a what you want to call a substitution variable. So rather than having g of x inside our outside function, we would have y and it's going to be a function of u. And then we're going to have u, which is going to be a different function, which we call g of x. Cool. So the way that this is going to work is our y, which is going to be a function of u in our example, is going to be u to the power of 5. And our inside function is going to be this cubic function in terms of x, 2x cubed, plus 1. Now what the chain rule says is to get the overall derivative dy dx, we first of all take the derivative with respect to the substitution variable, i.e. dy du, which is going to be the derivative of y with respect to u, and then we multiply it by the derivative of the substitution variable with respect to x. So then we multiply it by the derivative of this second function that we have here. So let's get to doing that. So the chain rule, i.e. dy dx, is going to be dy du, which is going to be 5u to the power of 4, multiplied by du dx, or the derivative of the substitution variable with respect to x, or take the 3 down, we've got 3 times 2 is 6x squared. Now finally guys, the way that we finish this question off, that's why it's only worth 2 marks, is then we substitute in u, or the substitution variable, back into our derivative, then we multiply it by our, the derivative of our substitution variable. And then I would, in an exam, just simplify it a bit. So 6 times 5 is 30. x squared times 2x cubed plus 1, all to the power of 4. And that's our final solution. So guys, if this quick video helped, please press that like button. Subscribe to my channel. I'm only a small channel, so the more subscribers I get, the better chance these sort of videos will get in front of more eyeballs. And that's all I need at the moment. So also, if you've got any friends that might need any calculus help, I've got a lot of maths videos and various topics on maths, science, economics, and even a few skateboarding ones. So if you'd like to flick my channel to them, I'd really, really appreciate it. So again, guys, I have left a fully worked solution in the comments section below if you want to check that out. But until next time, guys, problems like this in exams need to be done quite quickly. So practice, practice, practice. Keep banging your head against the wall. Eventually, the wall will fall down. But most importantly, guys, whilst you're doing all that, please keep enjoying your maths. It's supposed to be fun. And until next time, keep having a blast.